This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the SN2 mechanism. SN2 stands for Nucleophilic Bimolecular Substitution Reaction. Primary halogenoalkanes undergo SN2 reactions. It is a one-step reaction that involves the formation of an unstable transition state. So here we have the full SN2 mechanism. We start with a primary halogenoalkane. We have an unstable transition state and the final product is a primary alcohol. The nucleophile attacks on the opposite side of the leaving group. So here we have the nucleophile, which is the hydroxide ion, and as you can see, it attacks on the opposite side of the chloride ion, which is the leaving group. The curly arrows represent the movement of a pair of electrons. An unstable transition state is formed in which the carbon is weakly bonded to the halogen and the nucleophile. So here we have the unstable transition state. The hydroxide ion and the halogen are both weakly bonded to this carbon atom. The weak bonds are represented by dashed lines. The carbon to halogen bond breaks heterolytically. This produces the chloride ion as both the electrons in the carbon to halogen bond are taken by the leaving group. The backside attack by the nucleophile causes inversion of the atoms around the carbon atom. This means that the SN2 reaction is stereospecific. So here we can see the inversion of the atoms bonded to this carbon atom, which is caused by the backside attack of the nucleophile. The inversion of the atoms around the carbon atom is often compared to an inside-out umbrella, as you can see in this picture here. So once again, here we have the full SN2 mechanism, and below that we have the overall equation for the reaction. And the reaction conditions are warm with aqueous sodium hydroxide. Next we look at the molecularity of the reaction. The reaction is bimolecular. The rate determining step, which is the slow step, depends on both the concentration of the halogenoalkane and the nucleophile. And here we have the rate expression for the previous example. As you can see, the rate determining step depends on the concentration of the halogenoalkane and the hydroxide ion, which is the nucleophile. And finally, we have the choice of solvent. The SN2 mechanism is favoured by polar aprotic solvents. Aprotic solvents are not able to form hydrogen bonds as they lack oxygen to hydrogen or nitrogen to hydrogen bonds. Suitable solvents include propanone and ethane nitrile. 